Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the marquee tool on Adobe Photoshop. I know I haven't been putting up videos lately, but uh, I'm going to try to get more videos to you guys from now on. So now, first what we're going to do is open Adobe Photoshop. File, New. Make sure it's 1280 by 720 or if you prefer something else, then do that. Extend it, and then you see now we have our... We have our background, our canvas. So now what we're going to do is just add a text layer. And first we're going to see what it's going to look like. So it's text. Bam. And that we're going to put up there. But now I'm going to show you how to use the marquee tool when editing these things. So we're going to put T. Then place that. Add another layer, E. Place that. And then... As you can see, it looks the same, but after we edit it, it's not going to look exactly the same. So now, what you see is, now what we do is, you click it, rasterize it, and then, what we're going to do now is, since it's rasterized, move this away, and then click on your marquee tool, which is right here. Then what you want to do is, highlight the size of the black see now we have it highlighted so then here what you want to do is just like move it make it longer than usual then when you click on the T because that's already rasterized if you put the E it's not going to show up brush and then you just make it black layer deselect and now it looks a lot longer right but the cool thing is now we can just move this and put it like right there and then therefore we connected the text and simply we just click rasterize and then merge down and then now look it's one complete thing now we move it together and that's cool because it's uh, it's very cool for making logos you know connecting text and um yeah so and then that's the square tool you can keep on going with the whole X and the T you know connecting everything but right now now I'm going to show you the circle marquee tool the elliptical so here what you want to do is just hold shift to make up a, like a very round circle go down as you can see it just it doesn't go like an oval and it just make some circle okay let's just um and do that what you want to do is um let go of your mouse before you let go of the shift button and then there so now what you see is we just move to the right go down and this is just a way of like editing text of course if this little thing this little strip should be longer and this would be more down but just to show you how it could work you just click on it and then delete and you just made it like sharp you know like those uh, gothic ones and now it looks a lot better so that's a useful thing to do and so yeah these are different ways to use the marquee tools the other ones are kind of I don't know they're like you'll see for yourself watch single row marquee tool you go back and it like literally puts a whole line against the whole screen and I guess when you click it it, div it cuts that line that it's on and I guess it could be useful for some situations like I don't know when you're editing your own little thing but um, yeah it's, it's very simple to use so, yeah, that's how you could use the marquee tool because to edit text and other things. So now we just like move it. And now it's own little thing and it looks a lot better than just this. This like couldn't be really a logo, but now this starts to look a lot better. A lot more like it's custom made. So, yeah, that's pretty much how to use the marquee tool, elliptical, and rectangular. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching my video.